What screams I'm terrible with money? My old roommate was terrible with money. She couldn't afford her car payment so she went out and got a brand new car so she wouldn't have to make a payment for another month. I'm not kidding. No idea how she got approved for the loan. Crying to me that she can't pay her rent and skips meals so that her cats can eat. Next weekend charges 1k on cosplay items because it's an investment. These are high quality and will last me for years. Also, she buys small bags of $20 designer coffee. I think I may know her. Asking you what they should buy because they have a little left over from their paycheck. Save IT. Fun money is fine. But if you don't even know what you want to waste money on and it's just burning a hole in your pocket, just freaking save it. This. I had a bunch of OT last month and wound up with an extra $1,500 in my checking account. I bought myself a nice bottle of bourbon and a video game but then was like now what? I felt like adult for even thinking that and moved the rest straight to savings. I have a friend who was recently working a lower wage alley job, car mechanic of some kind. He has a juvie record, never been hat responsible for much in his life. He recently inherited about $30k and decided to buy a new truck, new gaming computer and then packed up his stuff, his fiancé, and moved from central Texas to Colorado in hopes of opening a marijuana dispensary. Within 3 weeks, he was broke and moved back to central Texas but had to borrow money the first week back to be able to eat. I mean, there was no thought as to how he was going to start up a business. He just knew he wanted to legally sell weed in a state oversaturated with other legal weed brokers. He's good at playing video games though. Now this pothead has to sit in Texas and think about all the weed he could have bought for that 30k. Joining the military and then buying a brand new Mustang or Camaro as soon as you get out of basic training. I live in a military town and good god we have 30 car lots and every GI has a Mustang, Subaru, Camaro, or big lifted truck. It's crazy. You know that one person who has lots of weed and alcohol but can't pay rent? First date. I know that my profile says I wouldn't date someone in considerable debt but I am actually 8 grand in debt. What did you buy? Go to uni? Nah just stuff. Not even the worst ever tbh. They admitted that on the first date. While being $8000 in debt on random crap is very stupid. They at least owns up to it. Driving a Mercedes when you have a second chance checking account. Financing a puppy. Lol I didn't even know you could do that wow. Financed rims. What? Friend and her fiance are saving to buy a place together. The friend works her butt off, is very frugal and saves up a lot. Meanwhile the fiance bought a plot of land and a trailer to put on said land without telling her. She found out when she saw the massive withdrawal in their joint bank account. And now the wedding's off. Seriously, if my fianca did anything of the sort, I would run screaming away from that relationship. You take money out of your 401k to buy random crap. I'm honestly not sure there's a worse financial decision one can make. Filling your giant swimming pool up then being unable to pay the water bill, resulting in your water being shut off for months, forcing you to use the pool water for your water needs. As in flushing the toilet, cooking, drinking etc. Until the health debt catches wind of it and has your kids taken. Then you go around the neighborhood knocking on doors asking your neighbors for money to pay your water bill so you can get your kids back. They will come take your kids in this state if your house is without water for x days because it's considered uninhabitable. Having rent a center come out with a giant TV and living room suite. Having Comcast come out the same day and turn on your cable. But not paying your electric bill so 3 days later you're knocking on your neighbor's doors asking for money to pay your electric bill because it's been turned off. Then sneaking onto the same neighbor's porches at night and plugging extension cords into their porch outlets. These were my old neighbors. Wow they sound like terrible humans. Well let's see. My ex father in law was incredibly bad with money. He would constantly buy and trade in new cars. Over and over again. I'm talking 60k cars too, new trucks, jeeps, a corvette, everything. In a year he'd easily go through 4 new cars at minimum. But oh wait, it gets better. He took an early withdrawal out of his 401k, paying penalties and all, to buy a corvette while they offered 0% financing. 
On top of that, I found out he was taking multiple home equity loans out. He bought his house in 2003 for 80k and now owes 165k. All of this while constantly spouting to everyone about how if you work hard, you can have these things too. Let's just say I'm happy to be out of that family and not with my ex anymore. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Bro, there's spending a lot of money on something you want but don't need, and then there's flushing money down the drain because you're stupid and don't understand how to purchase something you want but don't need. Lots of nicely done tattoos but complains about not having enough money for basic necessities. I know this guy. He's a real frick wad. Never having money when you have a decent income. Uses their bank balance rather than a budget to determine whether they can afford something. Making $300 plus as a bartender in a night. Goes on a all-inclusive vacation every couple months. Goes out drinking almost every night. I finished nursing school one and a half years ago and still hasn't written her licensing exam. Complains that she's gonna be paying off student loans forever. Girl, you could've paid off those loans in a year with the money you're making. Not to mention you live at home and all major expenses are paid for. It's weird really. It's almost like people want to be stuck at the bottom. Pretty sure of she doesn't take the exam soon she's unable to take it without going back to some type of school. When I got a very small incremental raise, the first thing that came out of my friend's mouth was, you should buy a new car. At the time, I had a relatively new, paid off Nissan Sentra and I couldn't grasp why incurring a new car payment would be a good option. If you're gonna buy a sofa for £6,000 only pay £2,000 and get the other £4,000 on finance, that means you can get more stuff. It's what I did. Don't get me anything for my Christmas, because I'll not be able to get you anything. I'm so broke. I can't spare £10. This was the same person. I didn't spend £6,000 on a sofa like they did. I once knew a waitress who complained about never being able to afford anything, then bought a brand new car, omg I can't afford my college textbooks, then takes a cruise in Mexico the next week, my doctor visit is $30 omg I hate America then proceeds to buy $80 eyeshadow, it reminds me of a friend who would constantly complain about having no money for food that week but would boast about how much he spends on weekends drinking and partying. Joining an MLM. Only $2,000 for my starter kit? Great. But I learned that back in the first two weeks. My sister. When our dad passed away in 2007, she received about 75k in two vehicles that still needed to be paid off. The payoff amounts for the two vehicles, 2004 and 2005 models, were 3k and 6k. Instead of doing what everyone else is thinking, she gives them back to the dealer and then buys two different vehicles for about 60k, a new 40 inches TV, large for that time, and new carpet installed that very same day for about 3k. She gave me 5k and I made that last for 11 months. She blew through hers in about 5 weeks. Now, she is almost disabled, had to move 3 times due to her husband refusing to work and threatened to kick my butt when I called him out on that, has 2 very autistic kids, receives government assistance for the kids and is always broke. I got my living room set at rent a center. A formerly $100k car, while it may have depreciated to now being cheaper than a new Camry, the maintenance and mechanical parts have not. S-Class Mercedes from 2002 aren't exactly known for their reliability. SL500, 2003, if you own one of these wonderful cars you either must have access to an independent shop to fix it, good mechanical skills or lots of money, they are a thrilling vehicle to drive especially with the top down on a sunny day. My bank account. I had a substitute teacher when I was in middle school who told us not to do what she did and sign up for like 10 different credit cards. Even as a kid, I thought that was excessive. My brother-in-law can't afford therapy for my 8 year old nephew's neurological and learning disorders, but he can buy a motorcycle to add to his collection. That's beyond fricked. Dude at work barely staying afloat when he was the sole provider of wife and kid. Wife gets a job. Dual income. Situation is even worse now. Always complaining about bills. Either him or family eats out multiple times a day. Dude just bought a brand new 50k truck the other week. 
The other day he said he doesn't know if he'll be able to keep up with bills. A mother who comes in to speak to the teacher of one of five children to tell her she's finding it hard to afford to feed her family what with having to pay for six mobile phone contracts. My wife was the teacher which is how I know about it. Struggling to pay for bills. Priorities instead. 1. Lastest iPhone. 2. Overseas holidays. 3. Branded clothing makeup to two shoes. 4. Expensive car. Talks about their 293,928 different loans. I know 5 people that fit this exact description. Comma brand new Subaru WRX. Comma brand new iPhone X. Or newest flagship phone every year. Comma hundreds of dollars each week spent on vape gear and juice. California minimum wage job. $11 an hour. Comma lives at home with parents. Which may save them money in the long run. But doesn't do them any favors with their present spending habits. I have learned from others never to let them borrow money from you. They won't just never pay you back. They will get pissy and threaten you if you try and press the issue. Apparently their families are connected to Triad. Which here in Irvine CA is an actual possibility. So you have to actually be careful if you don't want strange things to happen. <laughs> Ostentatious displays of alleged wealth aka flossing. People who don't have a lot of money but who want others to assume they do often drive the cheapest cars offered by luxury auto brands and or festoon themselves in branded clothing and accessories that scream branding with huge and or repetitive logos. A good example is a Louis Vuitton or coach bag versus a Hermes Birkin bag. The LV or coach bag seems expensive to most people and has the brand logo plastered all over it. The Hermes bag is both legitimately and shockingly expensive, and even having the opportunity to buy one isn't a guarantee. Yet the Birkin really has no branding on it at all. If you're rich enough, you'll know what it is without having to have the brand screamed at you. Money talks, wealth whispers, and power is silent. Once you have money you really wouldn't give a crap what others think about. Making well into 6 figures but regularly having to borrow $200 from your children to make it to the next payday. Thinking credit cards equals free money. I learned a valuable lesson very young from an old cartoon Rocco's Modern Life with a credit card episode. Spends wildly and then gets everything repossessed. Somebody that works a lot but never has money because they spend it all. So not only do they never have time because of work, but when they do have time, they don't have any money. Gambling to try and earn money. Making barely over minimum wage and has a $65 plus K truck with a lease and an insane interest rate but still claims it was a great deal. A $50 K truck in front of a trailer park. They don't have a plan to get rid of debt. Pet stores. Petland and furry babies will finance. For just $4,200 at 30% interest. That little Morkisknadl is yours. Rent own places like Renter Center or Errands. If you like spending $2,400 over 2 years for something that costs $300, be my guest. Buying inventory for your MLM business. Anyone you see using an ATM in a strip club. I bought my buddy a couple dances for his birthday a few months back, but had no cash. $20 ATM fee. Not to worry though, Schwab still reimbursed at the end of the month. I would have just gone to the bank around the corner if I didn't have Schwab. Moving to them was the best decision ever. Holy crap. My bill could fill up this whole page. Couple of bankruptcies. Multiple carapos. Always gets his vehicles from buy here pay here places. Meaning he's paying a ridiculous interest rate for crap cars. Almost went to jail for falling behind on his child support. About $8k. Was crying on his sister's shoulder. My wife. About how broke he is. Then went on tell her about the $400 worth of fireworks he just bought for when the kids come over. My wife just finally stopped worrying about him because she finally figured out that he's never going to ever get it and his life is a wash rinse repeat cycle that he brings on himself. You've been spotted by the doggo of studying. Like this video for good grades for the next 2 years. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.